All right, so uh, Modern Pages video banner. In this demo, I will show you and prove how easy it is to build a nice looking group part with SPFX and the PNP libraries. Before I start, my name is Mohamed Derhali. I'm a Microsoft 365 consultant at BDO Canada. And uh, if you want to reach out, I'm, I'm available on Twitter and LinkedIn. So that's it for these slides. I'll just get right away to the demo. So here's the web part I'm talking about. And the reason I built this web part is um, I had a client who was using another platform other than SharePoint, and it was for marketing purposes. So they're focusing on media marketing and they have flashy things. They have animations on their website. And one of them was a widget that looks exactly like this. So, and they were like, no, we're not going to take our site to our intranet to SharePoint. We want to use our own website for our marketing purposes and so on. So I'm just, okay, I can just go and build something in a couple of hours or like maximum three hours and it's going to be ready like this. So that's how it's easy to, to build a web part. So I'll go edit and show you how it works. So here in the basic properties, I can select the video. So you can upload a video to uh, SharePoint to any library and then you can link to it. And let's say I'm going to choose another one. So this one. Open. Now you can change the title. So here is awesome. And then I can change the styles. So for example, uh, the colors, the brightness. And the height of the the video itself. And as you see here, I'm using the file picker from PNP and the color, uh, the color control as well. So how long would it take to build a whoop part like this with pin like with SPFX and PNP? It's pretty easy. So if I show you in my code. Right here, so I have the properties the uh, for the whoop part. So I have the whoop part title video. Uh, the color, the brightness, and the height. And here I'm just using the control. So at the very top uh, in this area, I have the PNP uh, reusable property pane controls right here. And I'm just passing things normally, uh, like I'm just defining the property, uh, the properties normally right here, except that I have a label that would show the current video URL for the user, right? So and then I'm just having one functional component right here, and this is all the code that I'm using for the whoop part. So I'm just having the the title here, and this div, um, it just um, absolutely positioned, and it's flexed with the CSS, so I can just position this header in the middle of the uh, the control itself, the video. And then here I'm just controlling with uh, CSS. I'm controlling the brightness using the filter. I'm having the video uh, URL right here. And if you notice, I'm using the React use effect and the use ref in order to get a reference to the video control right here. And if the video changed, I'm just going to load the video control again. So each time I change the video, I'll just, uh, it's just going to re render. And here in the in the CSS side of things, uh, as you see, I'm just like having this one absolutely positioned with the uh, with the header inside, and I'm just having the video the video styles right here with object uh, fit cover. So a whoop part like this with uh, the use of the PNP controls with just modern uh, development techniques, you can just build really powerful and nice looking wood parts in just a couple of hours uh, with SPFX. That's it. Was a quick, really quick demo, but it's uh, it's just to show how, how powerful it can be. Really cool, by the way, I have to, uh, as, as Patrick is trying to unmute, I find the unmute button as well, but that's that's a simple thing, like you said, but it's really, really powerful. And I love the, the simplicity of the code as well. Uh, so like you said, shows the power of the SPFX for extending things. And whatever you have here is, is certainly something what marketing people every now and then wants to their intranet. So makes perfect sense. So 
Yeah, no, that was a fantastic demo. I love the simplicity, and I love uh, that's. I think that's a great example of uh, working within a framework, like using the capabilities of React and SPFX and all the things together to make a very powerful solution without having to do a ton of work. Awesome, awesome stuff. So thank you for sharing that. Thank you.